What is going on everybody? Today's video is about to be super exciting. I have a really fun interview with the one, the only, the botch guy, guys. This interview was actually from last year, but my old YouTube channel got terminated. So I am re-uploading this, guys. So it, it's gonna seem, first of all, I'm gonna seem a little cringy because this was like my first ever interview in a way. Um, I did one other one, but it was a year before that. So it's, it's a little awkward obviously you know i've never done it before and this was the first time i got to interview like a someone who i looked up to so this video is going to be super fun for me to relive and for you if you haven't seen this interview yet hope you guys can enjoy it and if you guys want to see more make sure to slap a like i got some other youtubers and and wrestlers and all that stuff coming and i'm really excited guys i'm going into broadcasting school so i'm trying to you know get ready for these interviews that's coming my way guys so make sure to smash the subscribe button help me get back to 7,000 subscribers that my old channel used to have and, le and let's enjoy these interviews that i have coming for you guys so yeah a lot more coming and then i'll see you guys later peace Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Jared Myers or Jared Zero WWE and today we got a massive interview. I mean a massive interview. We got the one, the only, the botch guy. He has over 62,000 subscribers. He has over 10 million views on YouTube. He is killing the game yesterday. He's killing the game today and he's killing the game tomorrow. Anyways, let's introduce the one, the only, the most confusing channel on earth, the botch guy. God, God damn, what an introduction. What an introduction. That was pretty good. Calm down. I'm not kidding, my bro, but I appreciate the, the hype, man. Let's get this thing started. Let's man. get this uh, thing started. Me. I really appreciate it. No, no problem, man. So you've been killing YouTube lately, and, and believe it or not, man, he's been around for a minute. He started his channel on February 9th, 2006, and it's crazy because I also started on January 4th of 2009. So speaking about the past... Um, Botch Guy, what made you like want to start YouTube? Because I know what made me want to start YouTube, but what made you want to start YouTube? You know, it's actually kind of funny because uh, a lot of people think I, I started these Botch videos back all the way then, but what actually happened is I actually made like World of Warcraft videos back then, and uh, hey, you know, I, I actually, I think my first Botch video was uh, was a Shinsuke Nakamura John Cena when he, the, the, the neck injury. Oh, was yeah. There. Yeah. And, and honestly, and honestly, it, it was it was when I when I got into YouTube, it, it was never it was never supposed to go this way. Like I never thought I was gonna yeah. get popular. I never thought I was gonna get whatever sixty two thousand you know followers so quickly. It, it's it was always just like oh, I'm just gonna make a funny little video here and maybe I'll make a couple people smile here and there. Like that's all it's ever been about. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, for sure. No, like same with me. When I started YouTube, it literally back in the day, you, like videos were so weird back in the day, like low pr quality. I, I, my first video, I made a uh, a WWE entrance, like I, a custom WWE entrance, and it was just it was so weird. But like that's what the times were back in the day, and and things are changing. But speaking of like watching things and things changing, is there any YouTubers that you like to watch at all? Like I know who I like to watch, but do you? Who do you like to watch? You know, you know, personally, I, I don't watch a lot of wrestling channels. Um, I, I mostly watch like hockey channels or video game channels like Angry Joe, for example. And uh, I quite find him entertaining. Maybe maybe I get a little bit of that, that style from him. Sometimes I feel like when I do my videos, uh, he does some really cool, cool stuff. But believe it or not, I don't watch too much YouTube when it comes to like very specific channels. Like I might watch some guide videos for League of Legends. Yes, I do play League of Legends, guys. You can hit me up. Marketing, you can hit me up. Roman Reigns. That's my name, North American survey. But uh, <laughs> no, uh, that's yeah. I know. Believe it or not, eh? <laughs> I got Roman Reigns out of all names, right? That's uh, <laughs> the big dog. I didn't even ask you, bro. Am I allowed to swear during this interview? Nah, you're I good. You're good. Before? I don't know. Oh, okay, Whew, that's a close one. All right, yeah. So that, that's basically it, man. Really? Well, so I'm just gonna name off like three YouTubers real quick. Um, you can give me your thoughts on them if you've ever seen them. Do you know who the great one is? Yeah, I know the great one. Do you like his content? Yeah, he's all right. Like, I, I actually had a little chit chat with him. We were thinking about doing okay. an idea together, but it never did uh, work out. But I think he's all right. That's good. And then, real quick, real quick, before we go on to the next question, I saw that you were in the uh, WWE Sins video with Christian Miracle. You remember that? Yeah, that was uh, that actually just happened. Uh, just a little bit ago, um, uh, what, 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 what happened there was uh, I, I actually contacted him, um, or did he contact me? I, I, I can't remember the exact details, but mm -hmm. he basically, we, he's looking for people to replace someone to do a collab, and yeah. a lot of my fans... Uh, a lot of my fans ask me, hey, man, why don't I join and do that since then? And I'm like, yeah, sure, why not, right? Like, 
I've always been a pretty heavy community person when it comes to YouTube, and, yeah. uh, and if a lot of the people wanted me to do it, I'll, I'll do it, you know what I mean? Like, I've never been shy in that aspect. Uh, he's a pretty cool cat, and like, uh, I, he, he has his points on Twitter, but man, uh, yeah. overall, he's a pretty cool cat, and uh, I, like, I have no problem with him at all. So, like, when you recorded these sins, because I'm actually, like, curious, I'm sure a lot of other people are curious, what's it like making these sins? Like, does he, how do you, how did... Like, that has to take a lot of work, you know what I'm saying? Like, what was your part? How did you do your part? It, it, honestly, it was it was actually as simple as just him. Uh, he emailed me um, some ideas, and I, I had to basically just say them out loud, and then he does all the editing and all the stuff backstage. So my, my part was very small, right? Because yeah. like that, in that, what, 25-minute video, I think my part was only 20 seconds or something like that. It was very small, which is fine, right? Because yeah. I came in late, right? And yeah. uh, no, it's a, he's a pretty cool cat, man. It was pretty fun. Uh, I might do that. I might do some sort of collaboration one day. And Jared, you want, maybe I'll get you a part of it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so... Um, if we're smoking, uh, la, 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 okay, I'm gonna cut that part out because that was messed up. That was a botch right there, actually. That was a botch. Anyways, <laughs> so um, speaking about botches, you know, there's one guy who's very confused, and I think kind of like launched your channel. But there was a few other things that blew you up. But one thing that really did uh, blow up your career was uh, the Bobby Lashley was the most confused man on Earth videos. But I do have a question, like, so. Um, you pride yourself off of being like a normal guy. You're not this massive YouTuber, but like, I, I know I do this a lot. Like, do you ever just sit down, you know, at night, you lay down in bed and you just think to yourself like, like Bobby Lashley, the uh, WWE superstar Bobby Lashley has seen your videos. Does that ever like go through your mind on how crazy that is? Like, like how crazy? You know, you know what's kind of, you know what's kind of weird about like, all that thing is when I, Believe me, here, here's a here's a scoop. Okay, like, it's not really much of a scoop, scoop. but like <laughs> when, when the Bobby Lashley like confused stuff like started. Okay, so like there was uh, I would say about six or seven channels that all did the confused video, that the very first one for real, all around the same time. Yeah, it was all around the same time. But for some reason, for some reason, mine was the one that kind of got a lot of the views, a lot of the the thing, right? And then a lot of my fans, uh, like on my channel, they're like, "Yo, man, you should uh, you should like make a couple more videos on it." I'm like, oh, "I don't know, man. Like, it's it's kind of <laughs> kind of lame, right?" And then I'm like, "Come on, just do it." I'm like, "Okay, fine, whatever, right?" So I started doing this little confused thing, and it's always been out of like complete respect, you know. It's never been yeah. about making fun of someone. I never make a video or a wrestling uh, botch video out of like any negativity whatsoever. I respect these wrestlers more than anything. Bobby Lashley is one of my favorite wrestlers in the world. Uh, you know, it's never been about trolling him or anything like that it was just to make people laugh and I, i've always i've always told this like I, I just just told you off the air i'm like it kind of reminds you of like those american funniest home videos yeah. you know what i mean like mm -hmm. where you, you 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 watch like all these blooper shows you see on the thing or those japanese like funny little blooper shows and and you kind of get that like oh man you see something funny and you kind of laugh about it and it's it's that's it's, that's all it is right it's always yeah. been that way and this bobby lashley thing like it, 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 believe it or not, I, I had about, I think it was around 35 to 40,000 subs before the Bobby Lashley stuff even started coming out. So yeah. I started picking up, and mostly because of my uh, <clears throat> my, my botch videos that I that I did. And um, yeah. But when I started doing the Bobby stuff, like my, my channel kind of spiked again. But like I, I, I told you, like uh, I think it was like a week ago, I told you a week ago, and I, I said, you know, I don't mind doing the Bobby stuff. I feel like there is like a kind of cap uh, to... to yeah doing some of this stuff and uh, i feel like if you keep on kind of doing the same thing over and over people are gonna not not like it. it's gonna get stale yeah you gotta it's evolve gonna, it's kind of yeah you know and then it's just like oh you're just doing it because you know it's people are gonna you know the talk about all that stuff but and i, I like to evolve like I'm, we're gonna talk about this a little later but like I, I'm, I'm a big fan of pushing my channel forward and doing unique content something different mm -hmm. and uh we'll, we'll get we'll get to that next uh what else, what else you got for me, Kind of like how Chris Jericho always evolves, and that's why he's always staying at the top, because he's always evolving. But, um, hold on. So, speaking... Wait, hold on one second. I got, I'm fucking... Oh, yeah. So, speaking about how your channel launched off with the whole Bobby Lashley stuff, like, what do you think you as a person makes you stand out? I feel like what makes your videos stand out so much is that, like, you interact with people so much, you're... 
you're like you're very relatable and I think that's what people like about you is that you're not a guy who sits in front of a camera 500 edits hey guys this is all perfect I'm a perfect guy perfect edits perfect this you're just very like you're very relatable you know what I'm saying you're very you're just yourself and there's like it's very raw footage and it's yourself I think a lot of people like there's not that many people like that so you're very relatable do you think that is a big part yes. That's that's really nice of you to say, man. I, I really do appreciate that. It's really You're welcome. Comments of you. Um, I don't like talking about myself too often, but since you did ask the question, uh, mm. personally, I, I think I'm pretty down to earth as a whole. Yeah. Um, I've always been kind of down. I'm pretty down to earth guy, and uh, I think that does you know translate pretty well when I do my videos. I, I I've always been told through my family and my friends that I have a bit of a radio voice. I used to do like yeah, you uh, do. interviews <laughs> with like the the Canucks media and stuff like that, like. Uh, in the NHL and stuff like that. So I've always had like that kind of way. And I also, I'm, I'm such a big fan of like the community aspect, build, building of it. I, I think more YouTubers, uh, you know, should do maybe a little bit more of that, getting a direct uh, access. Like I use the community post for YouTube a lot. I used yeah. to do a lot of social media, which I don't uh, do that much anymore, just because I, I work 80 hours a week. It's just so hectic. I just can't keep up with everything. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think it's, yeah, you, I think you're pretty spot on. I, I, I think it's just, I, I feel like I'm pretty relatable to most people. Oh, yeah. I don't try to do anything anything like out of the norm when it comes to like oh oh i want to advertise this or market this or you gotta watch this or please like please subscribe i'm not yeah like, you never I'm, do that i'm, I'm yeah, and I'm, I'm more of like you know, if you like my if you like my content, just leave a comment or something. I want to I want to talk to you guys, and you guys you guys you don't have to do anything. Else. You can thumb down me for all I care. I just like the whole discussion aspect of it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I love that too. Like just being able to interact with other people, talk about what you love, which is wrestling, is like you can't beat that. You really can't beat that. But hold on. and then so uh, if you don't want to talk about this, you don't have to. But like so. I know there's a lot of people out there who struggle with like depression and social anxiety like they get afraid to go out and like talk to different people because they get like anxiety over it do you have any advice for people to like overcome that you think well per personally like um I i'm not i'm not the professional i'm not the expert to yeah. go around telling people uh you know what to do when they have uh, depression or, or anxiety uh, my, my videos have always been just to make people smile like make them laugh yeah. it does uh you know if it does help that in the in the background that's always that's always a nice thing so i'm not in the like me personally i can't go out there but what i can say about myself is you know i've i've had i've been struggling personally with anxiety for a pretty long time uh i don't really like talking about it too much but uh you know it's it's funny how i got into youtube uh because of this because like i said when it when it started spiking like i was kind of like whoa what's going on here my anxiety was kind of flaring up i've kind of learned how to you know deal with it and uh but like it's not even a millionth to the point that some people struggle with so yeah. i personally can't uh can't talk about that with other about uh you know what they're going through but i'm sure there's like professionals out there that are way more equipped to that but as long as i can make them happy with my videos man uh people that have struggles or people that don't have struggles or just people that just want to laugh that's good enough for me man well, that's good that's good um speaking about your videos like what do you see yourself so we're coming into 2020 you had an amazing 2019 i would say you you've definitely grown a lot this year what is your goals going into 2020 it's a brand new year we got a bunch of new stuff coming like do you have any like exciting goals that you want to hit like different things maybe 100,000 subs uh yeah, 20 million I'll, views I'll be lying to you if I didn't say it bro I, I want to hit 100,000 subs I think that would be pretty exciting for a lot of the people that follow my channel but again like I'm not like I'm not like the numbers numbers guy you know what I mean yeah. like it's never been my uh my thing for one specific thing about numbers mm -hmm. um uh, but honestly like a hundred thousand like, that would be cool man like like i really crack up to my friends and my family you know when they come to me and they say i'm like holy crap like i'm i'm friends with a celebrity and Wait, stuff what, like that what you, like, you know, what's that what's, i don't think you've ever like talked about this in like any of your videos what is your family if you don't want to talk, like what does your family think about your youtube channel and your success because it's pretty pretty cool <laughs> It's it's pretty. They, they they it's they're very obviously they're very supportive of it. Like it's it's kind of funny more than anything because whenever <laughs> they see me, they're like, "Yo, what's up, Marsh guy?" and stuff like that. And like 
it always cracks me up and makes me laugh. Like my brothers always tell their friends that he's like, he knows this guy on YouTube that has all these, you know, subs and all these followers and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. No, man, they're very supportive. My family's fantastic. I do everything for them, and I'll do everything for them. And and uh, honestly, my friends are pretty chill too. So it's uh, it's pretty cool, man. Like yeah. I never thought this was gonna happen. Like this is a, a very surreal thing. Like yeah. I want to I want to talk about like for example, I want to I want to give some advice to smaller channels. Do you mind if I say something? Yeah. What's your advice for smaller channels? <laughs> yeah, so like, it, it, honestly, personally, um, I think some of the hardest things on YouTube is just getting noticed out there. Yeah, for and sure. sometimes you're gonna you're gonna feel like you know you're putting on all this work and you're not getting uh, kind of like. Uh, the credits you're not getting the like it's not paying off it feels that way like you're having an off night like my channel blew up um because people really enjoyed like laughing during my videos and stuff like that and my mm -hmm. channel really blew up and uh you know some channels out there have to just keep at it man like seo is also very important i tell people about seo which is uh search engine Enjoy optimization um, what it means is when you're like when you have a title or a description, all the things fit together. You guys can, I'm sure, go online and and look it up for YouTube specific. I actually made a video myself, I think, a long time ago on uh, SEO and yeah. stuff like that. I don't know. Where yeah, that you is, taught but, me about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, it, it it's tough, guys. It's tough, and it, it's never going to get easy until you get to the point where you feel like you're getting enough consistent people then you can kind of mm -hmm. slow down and kind of more like think about what's your what's your next step but you know keep at it i you know eventually your break will happen uh, the youtube algorithm is is crazy man like sometimes like it's crack like, like even with my channel like sometimes i'll make a, a video and it'll get like five six thousand views and then the next time i make a video it's like fifty thousand and then i randomly i'll get like a four hundred thousand like it's it's completely you know random uh you know sometimes it, 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 a lot of it comes down to seo and a lot of it comes down to your personality um if people engage and you want to engage with people too like the community building aspect of youtube is so freaking important man being mm -hmm. able to like comment with them and, and talking to them at the beginning stage especially is yeah. so important because those are the people that are going to come back to your channel once you start getting a consistent flow the youtube algorithm is going to start pushing your channel but a little bit more and i that's like with me man like bro jared like i, I do these live streams like yeah. I, I love live streaming man like i i interact directly we started like a little blackboard you know, <laughs> I have memberships now and fucking merchandise like hey, it's just hey. crazy right yeah <laughs> Like, and it's it's never like it, the fact that I have all this stuff like it's so real to me. But yeah, at the same time, like you might guys, but people might not notice is like like I work really hard on my YouTube. I I mm. do a lot of community building. As I research like crazy on yeah. on Google, different techniques, different uh, ways to kind of blow up your channel and stuff like that. And honestly, guys, you will get there. It's got to work hard, show some good personality, and find a niche, man. Jerry, when I told you I, with your channel, man, like, yeah. uh, a little while ago, and I, that, why do you think one of the reasons I wanted to do uh, an interview with someone you know who's kind of building up because you're you're a building channel your hey, channel is you. growing thank you. and I wanted to I wanted to do an interview with you because I want you to go you know go places right mm. and uh, I, I always told them like man you need to find a niche man because you know anybody can do a, a, a video on hockey but how many people are doing video on hockey hockey tape or maybe hockey skates or maybe yeah. a hockey equipment you know you gotta find that niche and then there's enough people in the world that's gonna connect into your videos and that's kind of what i did um so that was a long answer holy <laughs> you're good man no i appreciate you doing the interview because uh <laughs> as you know uh, i've been doing youtube for mm -hmm. i've been doing youtube for like 10 years so I've been working so hard and I've won it so bad. I'm super consistent. So like it does mean the world to me that you're doing this. But I'm going to end it off with two questions. All right. You can give short answers if you want. We're going to do a rapid speed real quick. All right. What's your thoughts on CM Punk? Um, CM Punk uh, coming back to WWE. And do you think he's going to wrestle at WrestleMania 36? And should he be in the main event? <laughs> I don't know. I think my boy CM Punk is going to be back in the wrestling ring. And if it brings AJ Lee along, I'm going to be really happy because if you guys follow my channel, you'll know that AJ Lee is one of, if not my 
favorite WWE superstars. Um, I'm excited for Punk being back. A lot of people sure. think he's a sellout. Um, he's not. Like, what are your opinion, Jared? Do you think he's a sellout? You no. CM Punk is a sellout. <laughs> I don't think CM Punk's a sellout. I think CM Punk. Dude, at the end, we all knew he was gonna come back. Dude, he he, he blew up from WWE. How's that a sellout going back to your roots? It's not a being a sellout because he lost in UFC yeah. makes him a sellout. Like that's that's dumb when people say he's a sellout. Or like when they said Ronda was a sellout, then she comes and now she's like one of the best in ring workers in the women's division. It's like it's not being a sellout. I don't know. I don't think he's a sellout. Do you do you miss Ronda? I miss Ronda, man. Yeah, I miss Ronda. Ronda Rousey to come back, bro. I, I think Ronda Rousey elevated that divas the, or that women's division. Oh yeah, for sure. There's a box for the box. There's a box for the box guy. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta have that. Uh, yeah. But in all honesty, yeah, I, I hope CM Punk comes back. I, I think he will, personally. I think there's enough money there, and I think his pop would be crazy. But I will say this, though. like The Surprise. pop he would have had if he never showed up, period, and then he popped in randomly in Chicago or something, yeah. the roof would have fucking exploded. But I guess this is... The next thing, eh? But Survivor Series is in Chicago, though. And, you know, even though it might be in backstage... <laughs> But even though he's in backstage, though, it's still going to be a pop because now we're all know he's, it's like, oh, when's he coming? When's he? Now it's like we're antsy for it now. Even more antsy, kind of, in a way. I don't know. Okay. I, I, think, I think it's too early, personally. I, I think uh, he wants to do more of this Fox thing. I think he'll do it for a couple years, then he'll come back. Yeah, for sure. And then the final question, okay? Now, this is going to be a little controversial. Not really controversial. Okay, so, you know, <laughs> WWE ratings are down. If you, uh, AEW ratings were down too. So... A lot of people might have disagree, but I've always thought about this, okay? So, we just had this KSI versus Logan Paul 2 boxing fight, and the numbers drew. There was, like, over 2 million new subscribers to the Zone app. There was, uh, the, if you saw the views on their, uh, highlights, it was over 10 million views. But WWE's videos get, like, what, a million views per their Raw episode? So, you might not agree with it, but do you think bringing in people, like, big YouTubers, like Logan Paul, Jake Paul, uh, those people, KSI, do you think that could help ratings go up? It might sound dumb, but, like, you, the numbers have shown, and in the boxing world, do you think it could help WWE? Well, I'll, I'll say I'll say this: the WWE has always brought in celebrities from yeah. back in the day. They even have in the Hall of Fame their own celebrity type Hall of Fame, uh, you know, award there. So, like the WWE has always been doing that. It's maybe how they do it. Maybe it doesn't work as well. Like I, I will say this: like for example, when they brought. Uh, Arrow, right? Uh, yeah. What, what, what's his What's his name? I forgot his name. I uh, forgot it too. <laughs> uh, I, for, I forgot his name personally, but when he brought Arrow over, I thought that was so nice. Put him in a nice view there. I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah. they, also, they tried something different, but I don't like when they do things like Saturday Night Live with the Braun Strowman you know, yeah. pretending it's fake, all that type of stuff. Like I wasn't a big fan of that. Like they have tried, like even the Tyson Fury, like they try to bring in these people to get a different demographic. Now, should they go after YouTubers? Should they go after big YouTube stars? Should they go after big Twitch stars? Like, could they have Ninja? Yeah, like, example? that would be massive. Or I guess he's not on Twitch now, he's on Mixer, but would, like, should they go after, like, the millenn I, I call it, like, the millennial celebrities. Yeah. I think that would significantly help when it comes to, you know, if they wanted that, some extra ratings. But if they have a point where they need celebrities like them to raise their ratings, that that just that's not a good sign yeah. you know what i mean uh -huh. they should be able to pop these ratings from good writing they should be able to pop these ratings from nice scripts from good performances from the wrestlers and i think the wrestlers do an amazing job and i, I think they kind of get shortchanged like look what happened with uh Kofi. moxley aka dean ambrose yeah. right like this this just this is just how it is man and uh yeah it's 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 pretty crazy i i think it would definitely be be a cool idea but it's just a short-term thing I, I don't think in the long term it would really help that much man yeah that's true that's true but man my guy i appreciate it so much for you coming on the, my channel and uh making a videos it's pretty pretty dope pretty dope <laughs> <laughs> no problem, man. I'm, I'm happy to give a shout out to you, and um, uh, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you on my live stream a little later today. Give you a little hey. shout out on there, and Thank you. it was uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, 
maybe uh, one day in the future, in uh, six months or a year from now or whatever, and uh, when, when your child blows the blows up. fuck up, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll have another interview and we can chit chat about that because I, yeah. I had a really good time, man. And I'm, uh, I, I really appreciate everybody that watches my channel, man. Uh, it's always been about the positive aspect of it, and it's really nice that so many people agree. So uh, thank you so much for having me, Jared, man. Really cool. And hey, maybe we might see each other again in the WWE Sins come very soon. You never know, you know? <laughs> you never know, but I appreciate it, my man. <laughs> I,